students. A very warm welcome to you all. In today's session, we are going to see the writing skill that is story writing. Every one of you likes to read story, isn't it? Yes. So, how should a story be? It should be interesting. There should be some suspense. There should be some climax. There should be some problem and a solution to that problem, isn't it? So, overall, a story should be very interesting, isn't it? So, we like to read interesting stories. So, today, we are going to learn how to write a story. So, if you have to write a story, you need to enrich your vocabulary. And for that, you need to try to read some story books or some comics so that you can enrich your vocabulary. So before starting how to write a story, let me tell you what is a story. So a story is an artistic form of prose fiction used to convey some message. So what do you mean by fiction? Fiction means which is not true. Okay. So a story may not be true. It may be your imagination. And why we need to write a story? So that we can give some message to our story. So first let us see how to write a story. So what is the format of a story? Beginning Middle and End Okay So these are the three steps you need to follow while writing a story Now beginning that is your introduction That is your introduction Your beginning should be very catchy it should attract the attention of readers. So, to make it more attractive or appealing to the readers, you need to use some sayings, proverbs, idioms, or phrases, or phrasal verbs in your introduction. So here in the beginning you can start like once upon a time you can say deep in the forest you can say long long ago or you can say at the north pole or any others so you can start your story in this manner Sometimes in your question paper, the starting lines are given and then you have to continue. Sometimes only points are given and you need to elaborate those points. You need to develop a wonderful story with the help of those points or clues. The second is middle. Middle that is your body. Here, you need to describe your characters. Whatever, in first paragraph you need to introduce your characters and in second paragraph you need to describe what are your characters. Okay, And you need to describe the action or sequence which takes place in a proper order. So 
you may hear arise any problem you may have any solution to the problem there may be any twist in the story okay and that is your conclusion that is the message you need to give to the readers so that will be your conclusion so when you are writing a short story try to take only one conflict so that you can make justice with it and try to use very less characters in your story so that was the sequence introduction body and conclusion in this way you need to write a story you need to give a suitable title to your story a title should be catchy it should not be too long it should be around about 3 to 4 words and after reading the title the reader should have an idea as to what the story is all about okay so a title should be suitable to your story while writing a story you should be imaginative you need to imagine you need to think you should have the questions in mind who why when where how so such questions should come in your mind and you should find the answers to these questions so that was about the sequence so now let's talk about the elements of the story so first element is the character a character is any person animal or thing your story is about means about who you are going to write the story that is your character so it may be any person it may be any animal it may be a fairy or any other okay so that is the character of your story every story starts with a main character there should be one main character around which the story revolves so when you choose the character try to choose the character which can be related avoid using supernatural characters so you see in many serials many tv shows some supernatural characters like uh, superman or haiwan or some other so but uh, when you write a story in exam don't try to use such characters in your story choose those characters which you can describe very easily you can relate to it so it may be your friend it may be any relative okay so try to use related characters when you write a short story there should not be more than three characters so one main character and one or two supporting characters so because see the story is short and you need to give justice to your characters so try to use less characters in your story so before deciding your character you should ask a question who is your character what he or she likes or dislikes what is the personality of your character what does your character look like so ask such questions to yourself find the answers to those questions and then decide the characters for your story second is setting setting means 
where your story takes place. Character is who? Setting where? So every story takes place somewhere, isn't it? So it may be any big place or any small place. It may be a train, it may be a park, it may be a well, it may be a court, it may be a palace. So the place where your story takes place, that is called the setting. The setting should be such that it should have some impact on your characters. Characters should have the impact of your setting. Okay. Now next is a plot. Plot means a sequence. So here you need to write the sequence of the actions in which manner they take place. So here you can say how or why. How or why the action takes place in your story. That is called the plot of your story. So basically the whole story revolves around the plot. All your characters, your uh, setting, everything revolves around your plot. So when you describe the sequence or actions of your story, you should be creative. You need to describe uh, in a creative manner so that it can attract the reader. Your story should be very attractive. Next is conflict. So you can try to include some conflict in your story. Now as it is a short story, try to use only one conflict. Okay, so the conflict may be between two characters, it may be between the ideas of the two characters, it may be between the beliefs of the two characters, so it may be anything. Okay, and next is the theme. Now theme is the framework of your story. It is the central idea of the story. So here, now a story sh should have a theme, a central idea. It includes your characters, plot, setting, conflict, resolution. So all these things should be related to each other. So only your story can become more interesting. So you need to give some message through your story. There should be some sort of message. Reader should learn something from your story. If you are mentioning any conflict in your story, if there is some problem, then there should also be a solution to it. So you can create some problem which is faced by your main character and uh, the supporting characters they don't want that the main character should solve this problem so they try to create such type of situations then at the end the main character finds the solution to his problem or either runs away. So that can be the end of the story. So this is how you need to write a story. I hope you have understood.